a doctor that was treating him suggested that we put him in institution. At that time, family members say Kenneth Kelly was screaming all day and on the verge of being violent. Nine years later, he's living close to a normal teenage life. His family says it's all thanks to umbilical cord tissue stem cells. I couldn't control myself back then. It's because I have autism and it's hard to control yourself. With Kenneth, his results were within days of the first treatment. He started speaking clearer and he just really calmed down and seemed more serene. They saw progress after each treatment. He started to remember events and also learn how to read. Yeah. Close. Family members say they are happy that they started the process at a young age. If he had stayed like that, yeah, I'd be pretty scared because he was very violent and it was a lot. The family had to travel to Panama in order to get him treated because currently stem cell treatment is illegal in the states, except in Texas, which just passed new legislation making stem cell treatment legal. I have no doubt that at this point that he'd at least be heavily medicated and in a home somewhere. If we hadn't found stem cells, it really saved our lives. Now 16 years old, he's preparing to get his driver's license. He loves to learn about American history at school and going on drives with his brother for energy drinks. Kenneth was one of those children that uh, you had to love and that you knew that he had a future and he had a lot of hope. He's also a good big brother, playing games that he and his little sister came up with together. Family says he's a regular boy. He's the best brother. One of the best brothers I've ever had. He's amazing. Reporting in Glenburn, I'm Jack Hilton for ABC7 and Fox 22.